the 1.09 update has just went live and this is the update that was hyped as the big overhaul it is a pretty big update so it's about 13 gigs on console and 20 gigs on pc so i'm going to read through this information as quick as i can while leaving personal feelings out of it because it looks like that this overhaul is just mostly fixes to the game along with some uh, new additions here so if you find yourself coming back to the channel and you're not already subscribed please do me a solid and drop a like and hit that subscribe button and turn on all post notifications so that you do not miss a beat from me when I drop more videos furthermore while I'm reading off this information to you guys if you have any complaints or concerns towards the game you are more than welcome to leave that down in the comment section because I would actually like to get you guys' personal opinions on this quote unquote major overhaul how do you feel about it what do you think of it and do you see any major change in terms of our own wish list coming to fruition down the road so with what's new we have special operations harbinger and brimstone classic special operations door kick with a three star rating system and rewards the three star rating system is based on time completed and XP and MP unlocks are based on your star rating after finishing the game. For multiplayer, we're getting realism mosh pit, including domination, hardpoint, headquarters, and kill confirmed. And the classic gun game is making its appearance in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. For the general patch notes here, there's a fix for a bug where a player could spawn without a character model when spawning in on a friendly vehicle, fixes for various exploits across all maps and modes, fix for an issue where copying an opposing player's loadout was also copying their killstreaks, fix for the after action report not displaying newly acquired awards, fix for player rank icons not appearing on the scoreboard, shorten the amount of time in execution animation plays for accessibility, added the option to always sprint. So that's kind of a big one there. For footsteps, once again, the footsteps, adjusted volume and sound type played for crouch walk and walking while aiming down sights. Dead silence is not a perk y'all. There's a fix for the dead silence field upgrade not lasting the correct amount of time when CDL rules are enabled. Fix for nameplates being visible in a certain location on Piccadilly. Updates to the obituary or the kill feed. Removed avenge and save player. Play of the game owner and player rank increases. And fix for players being able to join a match even though they've been blocked. For the private match, added the option to disable the spawn camera. Fix for a bug where the starting flag's captured private match option was not functioning as intended. Fix for the bomb screen appearing blank when diffusing or planning the bomb in search and destroy with realism enabled. And added a bomb carrier indicator. For killstreaks, fixed an issue where selected killstreaks will revert to the previous selection mid-match. And fix where players using the shield turret killstreak can see through smoke at certain angles with the side panels of the turret. For the CDL, Dead Silence, fix for the Dead Silence field upgrade not lasting the correct amount of time when CDL rules are enabled. Thermoscopes are now able to see through smoke grenades, added the option to disable the spawn camera, and fixed an issue where the mount interaction prompt was disappearing when planning or defusing the bomb in search and destroy. For one life mode fixes, fix for camera getting stuck on the death location when transitioning to spectate, and fix for the weapon not animating when sprinting at the beginning of the round. For the infantry assault vehicle, reduced damage radius and lethality of the turret, progression challenges and mission fixes, cleaned up and updated descriptions for various challenges, officer challenge heads up, destroy vehicles with launchers, doing work, aggression, expert gunsmith, and one trick pony. For lethal and tactical equipment, fix for decoy grenades showing a red blinking light for both allies and enemies, and slightly brighten the player outline when using the snapshot grenade. For the single player mode, Fix for a bug that can cause an error when selecting a mission. For the perks, for the spotter perk, the perk was not marking equipment, field upgrades, or kill streaks through walls and free for all. Fix for the spotter perk not marking UAVs and slightly brightened outlines. For EOD, fix for players losing HUD elements after hacking an enemy claymore in certain scenarios. Fix for the quick fix perk not giving faster regeneration when earning kills with the throwing knife. And fix for the amped perk not stowing the ride shield as quickly as it should. For weapons, fix for the rocket launcher camos not unlocking or tracking properly. Fix for the model 860 camos not unlocking or tracking properly. For the scar, slight increase in ADS time, reduction to barrel and bipod grip panel penalties. Fix for a white placeholder box appearing when leveling up a weapon and unlocking new attachments. Added descriptions to all optics that have scope glint. Fixed an issue where the P90 and the FFS ring sight will create a scope glint. Thermal scopes are now able to see through smoke grenades. Fix for charms not appearing where they should on various weapons. 
for leaderboards and combat records, fix the bug where selecting all would sometimes kick the player back to the main menu, and added CTF and hardpoint to combat records. For audio and voice chat options, no effect, default voice chat, no additional effects or EQ adjustments. Stealth comms, bring the immersion of a campaign into multiplayer with added SAS radio effects to voice chat. For classic chatter, feeling nostalgic, coordinate with your team using classic Modern Warfare radio effects. For spec ops, added munitions drops. After various objectives, a care package will drop to provide you with much needed munitions. Various exploit fixes, fix for an issue where players could lose functionality after using the EMP drone in Operation Crosswind, and fix for crashes that occur when viewing the scoreboard from the match summary. And for PC only notes, for new features, added an option to hide friend requests and party invitations, added support for additional keyboard layouts on PS4, for the stability, several fixes to prevent crashes and improve stability, for general fixes, fixed an issue where the boot up sequence volume would be too loud, various key binding adjustments, players are now able to back out of gesture and spray wheel by clicking anywhere, more fixes to prevent hitching, stuttering during cutscenes, fix an issue where the main menu music would not play when users activated the skip introduction movie option, fix for an error that could occur when attempting to manage a party, multiple fixes for different aspect ratios on various menus slash screens in the game, fix for a bug where the XP token shortcut key would also open uh, Nvidia highlights feature simultaneously and it says that it's now on F key and fix for a bug where some achievements would appear as completed even though they were not. So that there is going to conclude the patch notes for the 1.09 update. Like I said, I was going to leave my personal feelings out of it as I read those notes off to you guys because I'm actually going to save that for another video. Like what, what I wanted to do this year was create a pros and cons video for these uh, various updates that get released. And that's what I'm going to do immediately following up this video. So like I said, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, you can do me a solid hit that subscribe button. And you do not want to miss that because I will just go over my own thoughts and opinions in regards to this update. And you guys are more than welcome to join me and open up a discussion in the comment section so I can get you guys' thoughts and opinions on this update. In the meantime, you guys are more than welcome to hit up the comment section right now and let me know what you think about this update for better or for worse. What was it that you wanted to see implemented with the game that did not make the cut? Because a lot of us seem to be a little disappointed in the update and maybe these things will be changed in the next update. Maybe they won't. But in the meantime, let's talk about the right now. What are you guys' thoughts and opinions on the 1.09 update? So that's going to just about do it for this video. I will see you guys in the next one. Once again, if you are not subscribed to the channel and you found this video helpful, please do me a solid. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and turn on all post notifications if you haven't already. And this is your boy Rob James. You guys take care. Peace.